Hi Byron, and hi everybody watching this. My name is Michael Hurst, and I am an author and musician, and welcome to my studio here in Park Slope, Brooklyn. This is where I create most of my projects. Um, I've written three books. One is called Unusual Creatures. Another is called Extraordinary People. Uh, there's a third one called Curious Constructions. Unusual Creatures was the first one. It actually started as an album. I am, I am mostly a musician, really. And I recorded an album using lots of great guest musicians and weird instruments. I love to collect strange instruments. And their songs inspired by some of the planet's strangest animals. I was then asked to write a book about weird animals called Unusual Creatures. And so some of the animals in this book... Uh, they're probably better known than others. Some, some per oh, here's a good one. This is the hagfish. The hagfish is a strange fish. It has a skull and no spine, and uh, it has four hearts, which maybe makes it very lovable. I'm not sure, four hearts. But the thing that's really strange about the hagfish is that it creates slime. It can excrete a chemical that when mixed with water turns into a disgusting blob of gooey, sloppy slime that no other animal would want to eat. Uh, and that's its defense mechanism. Um, what else do I have in here? How about um, this thing? This is <laughs> the anglerfish, a lot of sea creatures, which is a deep sea fish that has a light attached to it. Um, the long-eared jerboa, the three-toed sloth. It's really hard to show images and hold a phone in one hand. This is the pink fairy armadillo. That's a real thing. It's got a pink shell. So that's unusual creatures very quickly. Um, the second book I did was Extraordinary People, which features 50 of the planet's most awesome people, according to me. On the cover, we have uh, Bruce Lee, Evil Knievel, and Marie Curie, the scientist. Um, but there's scientists, humanitarians, daredevils, criminals, athletes, you name it. Here's Manute Bull, one of my favorite basketball players. Bobby Fischer, who was a chess player and kind of a not-so-great person. Harry Houdini, I love Harry Houdini. Uh, he was an escape artist, a master mystifier. This is a drawing of him hanging upside down. One of my favorite people in this book is... Uh... Oh, wait, I got a couple favorites. There's so many favorites. How about this? This is Ruth Wakefield. Believe it or not, there was a time before chocolate chip cookies. Uh, thankfully, Ruth Wakefield came along and invented the chocolate chip cookie in her Toll House, which is why they were called Nestle Toll House Cookies. But the person I really wanted to tell you about is, uh, I love talking about this guy, this guy, Lawn Chair Larry. Lawn Chair Larry was a truck driver who always wanted to fly, but could not get his pilot's license because he had poor vision. And so he did something that uh, is not recommended that anybody should do. He shouldn't have even done it, but he did it. And that is he took 45 helium-filled weather balloons and tied them to a lawn chair. And it worked. He took flight over Los Angeles. And when I say he took flight, I mean he traveled 16,000 feet above Los Angeles, which is really, really high. He was so high up that airplanes attempting to make a landing at Los Angeles International Airport, uh, he was in their way. And, and in fact, one pilot reported to air traffic control to say that he had just seen a man at 16,000 feet in a lawn chair with a gun. Uh, it was a BB gun, which he used to shoot down the balloons. That was how he was able to lower back to the ground and he, in fact, landed safely-ish. He got caught up in some power lines, but thankfully um, the, the police were aware of the situation and cut off the power to the neighborhood where they saw him coming in for a landing. So don't try that at home. But that is why Lawn Chair Larry is extraordinary. More recently, I released, let me get out of the glare here, this album, Songs for Extraordinary People, which has a song about Lawn Chair Larry and... Uh, Billy Jean King and Jane Goodall and William Kamkwamba, some really amazing people. Um, then there's Curious Constructions, a more recent book. And Curious Constructions features 50 of the planet's most fascinating structures, such as the Arecibo Observatory, or the Berkut Oil Rig, or Grand Central Terminal. Did you know that there's actually a, a uh, secret 
train station, a uh, secret tunnel that goes from Grand Central Station to the Waldorf Astoria that um, uh, Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, had it built so that he could travel from the station to the hotel and not be seen. Um, I have the pyramids, ice sculptures in China, my favorite little lighthouse in upstate New York, a crazy roller coaster. Um, a very crooked house in Poland. Lots of fun stuff in there. I have not written songs for this yet. Um, you probably have seen me walking by this. That's one of my favorite weird instruments that's called a daxophone, not to be confused with a saxophone. And you basically uh, place these pieces of wood on uh, this bass and then you bow them with a cello bow and it makes an animal that sounds, it makes an animal. It makes a sound like an animal. It'd be cool if I made an animal too, but it doesn't. Um, what else do I have in here? How about my theremin? There's my very first theremin. And if you don't know what a theremin is, it's so cool. You basically wave your hands near an antenna and it makes a sound like woo, 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 woo. Um, crazy. It basically, you don't touch it. It just works on electromagnetic uh, field. It's, it's magic. Let's, let's just call it magic. So anyway, this is my studio. This is where it happens. Oh, I didn't tell you about songs for ice cream trucks. I love ice cream. Do you guys like ice cream? I, I did an entire album of new songs for ice cream trucks because I was so sick of the same songs over and over again being played from the ice cream truck. And amazingly, it's actually being used by ice cream trucks all over the place. So that is really cool. And uh, yeah, that's what I do here. Um, thank you for watching this and uh, big hugs to all of you. Bye.